Dirty archers left. Can they fire? Okay, they're starting to fire on me. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, dude, that was fucking nuts. Well, guys, what's up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Today's video, as you can see, we're playing some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. There was a update a few days ago or yesterday or before the weekend started. Like, if I had a game called Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, I would be adding in, like, some of the most ultimate epic units I could think of. Well, not this guy. Uh, we have a... No, no, I'm not saying this is a dumb idea at all. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying that the timing and what I thought was gonna happen and what has happened is little, little strange, but an animate category is gonna be fantastic for this game. So the new units we have is a dresser and a table. And I think there is a seasonal, yeah, festive. So we have Santa and that's it. So we have tables, dressers, and a Santa for the update. Little strange, but I but I appreciate it. I, I like strange things. But before we get started, we've been getting a lot of new subscribers to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So I wanted to acknowledge those who are new in the channel and also acknowledge those who have been here for a long time. So if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and type pancakes in the comment section below. And everyone who's been here for a while will know you're a new sub. And if you've been here for a while, go ahead and type hot dogs. All right, so all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers will know that you're a old subscriber as well. Guys, thank you for the ongoing support. But what we're going to be doing today is pitting technology against old technology. The projectile versus the slower projectile or a bullet versus a bow. We're going to make a 250 tables versus like a legion of... Roman soldiers and see what happens here. I just want to see how they perform. Like, what do they do? do? Do they like walk? Do they skedaddle? Do they shimmy? We're going to uh, maybe increase it to a thousand just so we can get a nice. Yes. Perfect. Face to face. Oh my God. This is, this is really ridiculous. I actually have a wardrobe or a dresser that looks like this. Not this tall though. Maybe take off one of the top shelves and paint it green. That and that's mine. That's that's where the TV sits on my bedtime TV, where I play countless reruns of Futurama. That's the only show I can watch and go to bed with. But you guys don't care. Please tell me they move. Please tell me so. Pressing K. They fucking shimmy, dude. They fucking shimmy. Now, how much attack damage do they have? I can't believe it. A fucking... Oh, almost 10 Romans have been killed by these dressers. I mean, we could make a whole series out of the wrath of the dressers versus XX and X. I can't believe this. Or I want to say etc. I mean, sure, the Romans are killing them pretty quickly. But they have seriously killed 30. Oh, my gosh. It looks like once they... Oh, my... Look, you can see him knock him back with a nice little shimmy right there. Boom! Oh, my God. It looks like an obtuse penis almost. Check this out. Just need more a little... Just need a little bit more ballage, a little more curvature from the bottom right here. I never thought that would be a thing. Really never thought that would be a thing. Now, what's what map has the biggest open space? Well, we have flat field test map, but that's about as boring as, well... Dressers versus Roman soldiers. <laughs> I think World of Thieves is the good map. Now, how many archers will it take? Okay, we're going to set our limit. Uh, for World War II at 500 U.S. soldiers. Okay, they're green. And then we're going to go to... Shouldn't Ancient or that Medieval? Yeah, Medieval are going to have the archers. Archers? Archers? We're going to start off small here. Let's just do 2,000. 2,000 archers versus 500 U.S. soldiers. But before this video is over today, I really want to create a hero unit 
with the archer and just beef up everything and maybe have him go against a horde of zombies or even against Super Sailor Moon, a.k.a. Ted, and see who can win that battle. My money right now is on the archers just because even though the, yeah, the war, I don't know. Actually, I don't know now. 2000 looked a lot bigger on the um, heads up display or at least the map setup screen than it does now. If every archer can be semi accurate on their first strike, they could take down. Well, no, because an arrow in this game I don't believe will kill a US soldier in one strike. We're just going to have to play this out and see. But now looking at everything here, I think the World War II troops are going to win. However, these guys are in a very tight formation, making it very easy for the archers to hit even when they miss, if that makes sense. Here we go. Three, two, one. Draw the bows. Oh, okay. Never mind. They, they already drew. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I really should have gone with my first gut on the archers because holy shit, they, the World War II troops only killed 105 and the archers were able to take out 500. It just has to be the reason that they're grouped so well. And these are perfectly trained archers, I guess. They only took down pretty much the first wall. We're going to go have to increase the World War II troops uh, numbers to get this more balanced. We're going to go 2,000 World War II troops versus 2,000 archers. Now, the only way or what I think is going to happen again is that the World War II troops are just so grouped up that even if the archer misses his assigned target, the round will deviate into somebody else. So these archers probably have a two or a 80% hit chance. Okay, I'm going with my gut feeling. The archers are going to win this one, even though it's even. Here we go. Loose, 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 loose. First barrage on the way. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Wow, I'm over for 2. Okay. The archers are starting to make up a little leeway right now. This is actually interesting because the archers got fucked early, but now they're starting to make a actually a comeback right now. This is a close battle. Okay, we're almost tied. The archers are the archers are almost there. 1200 1400. It's kind of hard to get a good view on everyone. They are tied. The archers are coming back. Holy shit. The, the, the 9 millimeter SMG can't range that far, and they're not that accurate, but the archers are able to snipe these guys in the back of the pack. Holy shit. I mean, th there it is. The bow beats the gun. Now, yes, this is an SMG. Yeah, they're totally missing them. The SMG guys stopped at like 1,400. Oh, man. Look at that concentration of arrows. They got three guys left. One. Okay, so at the first or at the, like the very first bit of this battle, I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm 0 for 2 right now. The, the U.S. troops are going to win because they mowed down, I think, like 500 of our archers in the first like 20 seconds once the archers got kind of past this tree of death maybe it was this defilade here guys do you think this was the reason why <laughs> yeah that might have been it that might have been it because the archers are able because they have a, a, a slower velocity of the bow or of the arrow, they're able to aim up a little bit and let it drop down. That's that's why archers were really efficient in castle defense. They could sit behind castle walls, aim the arrows up at a 45 degree or whatever. The ranger, whoever, you know, called out the shots for the archers and let them fall down on top of the enemies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's check this. Yep. There's nowhere for the archers to hide. Here we go. Pressing K. Three, two, one.
Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Now on level ground, the S or the, the guns able to completely pulverize the archers. I want to see how OP we can make an archer. Let's give him 5,000 health. Damage, how high can we get this damage? So one round's one hit. Attack speed. Uh, let's do 500,000. Movement speed, five. Oh, fuck yeah. We'll call him Robin Hood for sure. Save. All right, Robin Hood. Hopefully, just like the catapult, this guy doesn't have to reload at all. He'll just... Here we go. Oh. He's just shooting out of his, like, chest. He's like... Bah! <laughs> Look at this, dude. Fuck. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I fucking love this game. Round two, we have kind of pumped up the level unit a little bit. We have 5,000 zombies and 5,000 orcs versus one Robin Hood. There we go, right on top of each other. Here is Robin Hood. I really want to take him out for a spin, but I just want to see how he can handle all these units real quick. We'll get right to his level here. No, that's not a really good view. This, this is perfect. Here we go. Ooh, it's a lot slower because of the FPS, I think. Last time, it was just like... Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to retreat here. Come here, bro. All right, let him off. There we go. Oh, fuck. You can just launch these things right in there. I'm going to get up in close and personal so we can uh, really do some damage. Run, 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 run. Now I wonder if Robin Hood can get to the top of this plateau here. Climb, baby, climb. Ah, oh, damn, we have to go around. We're here. Our years of training and running marathons have paid off for this beautiful moment on top of this plateau. I don't know how he even died, man. We had 5,000 health on him. He fell like 20 feet. He was like, oh, dude, I'm fucking dead. All right, but here we are. Yes, look at this. Yes, let it ride. Let it ride. Oh, look at the kills. Look at the kills. Look at the kills. Okay, the enemies are trying to get up to this plateau here. I'm going to navigate nicely back to catch him in a single file line. We got orcs here. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, there we go. Oh, okay, now, I mean, now it's firing a lot quicker for some reason. I love how like this guy's being like conservative with his rounds. We're gonna fight down this hill here. This is fucking awesome. That was good fun, but it was a stomping. We could have easily killed those 10,000 units. Now we need to do the Battle of the Elites. Super Sailor Moon 250 versus 250 Robin Hoods. Get these orcs out of here and let's see who's going to win. This is going to be weird. This is going to be weird. Now the only thing is that I think the archers take a little bit of time to spool up compared to the Super Sailors. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, no way! What? What? Round two, 1,000 versus 1,000. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. Only 17 were alive. And the, and the, and the archers won again. We're going to rerun that battle and see if things can change in the same um, situations. Round three. Here we go. Oh my gosh, only two alive. Come on, Super Sailor Moons. No, it's confirmed. My Robin Hoods are more effective 
than my Super Sailor Moon, aka Ted. Just gonna maybe try to change history here with this Ted. Just gonna grab him and run away as fast as possible. Yes, I'm away. Okay, how many? Okay, we got 30, 30 archers left. For freedom. Can they fire? Okay, they're starting to fire on me. Oh, God. Holy. Oh, no. Oh, dude, that was fucking nuts. Or maybe we'll go to the castle or something. Like a nice final stand. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ted here. I'm just gonna... Just run away. Just don't even fucking look behind you. There's only four left, too. We can do this. Okay. Running in this wall. Where are those archers? Where are they? Where are they? Oh my god. What the f round eight? No, oh god damn it. I'm not gonna give up. We gotta make the Ted's win once. Yes, I'm away. Oh fuck, I can hear him. I can hear Oh god, this screwed the shit out of me. Attack! No! Watch your six. <gasps> Guys, it's only 1v1. We can fucking do this. Okay, I think he's running right now. We, we might have some time to fire on him. We're gonna fire. Did I get him? No, fuck. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. The Robin Hooders are just a little bit stronger and a little bit less accurate than the Teds. But the problem is that the Teds are grouped together, so the inaccuracy of the bow doubles down, and pretty much everyone hits their shot right away. Or if they miss, they're going to hit just with the placement of the Teds. Guys, in the comments below, let me know what you want to see next. Or if any other ideas you guys have, hope you guys have a good Sunday. Until next time, have a great day. Peace out.